I don't know who wants to go first. Let's talk about uh, why we're here in the first place. There's obviously a vendor partnership here. Yeah. Uh, you guys at Clico have product. We have customers. Yeah. We go in Same. and we implement the relationship between us and the customer, and we bring you in to fulfill the need the customer has. So let's talk about those products, the history. Let's talk about some Clico history. Where, where did Clico get started? It was actually uh, Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, right. That's what Clico kind of stands for, Cleveland Pneumatic Company. Um, All right. It's been around for uh, we've been around for 120 years actually. The Clico brand. Um, obviously, we're under the Apex Tool Group umbrella now. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, early days it was a lot of uh, tools, obviously, but moved into to pneumatic tools, right? And then, you know, I think it was 15, 20 years ago, probably even longer. Uh, started getting into like the electric tools, the DC tools, and stuff like that. Um, and I know we've been partners with Air Power for. Was it 20, 20 some 25 years. years, something like that? So, um, and you guys were part of that, you know, that foray into electric tools, right? Um, but now, you know, as we are coming in today, our main focus is definitely um, going into new markets, right? Markets that we haven't been in, we've always been focused on motor vehicle, right? So we're kind right. of branching out there and a lot of help from you guys on that. Um, but cordless is what we've focused on uh, most of our efforts in the in the recent time. So that's kind of from then to now. That's kind of where we're at. Did Clico have a, like early on? You say Cleveland, and I'm very familiar. I love I love that town. So, uh, but I've done the reason why I love that town is it takes me back to when I was beginning in the industry out of college. The first trade show I ever ever attended for work ever was surfing the surface finishing show downtown cleveland in 1996. <laughs> so it take that's that takes me way back to like the very first exposure into into industry and and i was it was great but that's the city is a i have a lot of friends there a great city um but i want to say this was i know that you know plating is uh was hugely impacted by that town through automotive. So is that part of you as well? Is it, did Clico have uh, a real strong automotive uh, early on background maybe in, in Cleveland? Yeah, I mean, obviously that Rust Belt was big into automotive, right? Oh, yeah. That was everyone's focus back in the day and they had all the manufacturing, uh, you know, in the neighboring three hours away in Detroit. Yeah, the gods um, of Chrome. Right, right, <laughs> exactly. So. So no, I mean, yeah, obviously, the, you know, everyone around there was typically serving automotive customers, right? And Clico was no exception to that. Okay. Um, but as far as the plating industry and all those things, I think, you know, if you look at the automotive industry, typically the, the suppliers to that industry set up shop right around there too. Oh yeah. Right. So yep. that was kind of the big thing. And, and, you know, Clico's moved around. I know it's been in Texas. Now we're in Lexington, South Carolina, as far as where headquarters are. Um, but yeah, I mean, Cleveland starting out, that's that's definitely one of the reasons. For gotcha. sure. For sure. So, uh, you want to touch a little bit of the history with Air Power and Clico? Yeah, so um, as we touched on earlier, it, I believe our, our history really goes back about 20 years, mid-90s, I believe it sounds like. Um, so, I, I obviously was not around back then. Um, if we ask some of my colleagues, uh, shout out to Mike Justice, possibly one of the most... Uh, in-depth general industry tool chronologically uh, library in his head there, oh, so yeah. he'd be able to really dive into it. But um, I think uh, that partnership really appeared when we uh, started getting into the tool market, air power as a whole, and it, it's grown quite a bit since then, but we really started out with the pneumatic side. Uh, speaking of the, the Clicomatic tool, um, grinders, yeah. holes tools, stuff of that nature. Uh, my personal introduction to Clico was the grinder world. So uh, talking about plating and the steel industry and in the rail yards, that's where I got my introduction to Clico. 